Hi, my name is Lola and I'm 10 years old. And right now, we're in the ACE, the International School. I'm in grade six feet and I want to show you around. I was born in Australia and my mother and father were born in Tajikistan. My sister was born in England. And right now, we are in Amsterdam. So now you know who I am. And this is what I wanted to show you. Here, we're doing indigenous portraits. Follow me. Oh, hi, Lola. Hi, Zoe. So, what are you exactly doing here? Um, well, we have a portrait lesson, and I'm drawing this girl. I think she's from Japan. And right now, I'm working on the lips really hard. What do you think is your favorite part? Well, I'd say I really like the golden head pieces, and that part because it's just really nice, in my opinion. Today is Wednesday morning, and each Wednesday morning they have Magic Roundabout. Magic Roundabout is that each class has a different activity, like drama, cooking, and all kinds of stuff. My class has water right now. Come on. Hi, Hi Eric. Hi. So, what are you exactly doing here? Well, now, right now we're going to make some bracelets to show the water cycle, and we're making them out of these beads. It starts by the water in the sea evaporating. It go and then when it's in the sky, it turns into clouds, and the clouds form together to make more, to make drops, so that it starts to rain, and it goes back into the sea. Wild dance is also part of the magic roundabout. Do you hear the music? I already hear them dancing. Right now, it's snack time. I'm with my best friends, and I want to introduce them to you. Hi, my name is Alba, and I'm from Spain and Portugal. Hi, my name is Nicola, and I'm from Italy and Poland. Hi, my name is I, and I'm from France. Hi, my name is Zainab, and I come from Turkey. Hi, my name is Lil, and I come from Australia and Tajikistan. Hi, my name is Ellie, and I come from England. Hello, my name is Larong, and I come from Singapore and Malaysia. Hi, my name's Ayana, and I come from Morocco and Holland. There's one more thing I wanted to show you, the Dutch classrooms. In one of the Dutch classrooms, the advanced children are reading to the not-so-experienced children. Now, there are other children that are reading aloud to the whole entire classroom. Let's go see Jacob. He's English. Come with me. Groenten naar smaak toevoegen en één snuf je peper en zout. Dexel op de pan, klaar. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Maybe I might see you again in the school. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Tulika. I'm a parent at AICS, and this is my son, Pragoon. I'm Pragoon, and I'm 10 years old. I study at the ACE. As a parent, I would like to show you something very important about AICS, but before that, I would like to drop my son in his class, as I always do. Okay, bye Prabhun. Have a nice day. Bye, I'm going to show you the World Cafe at AICS, which as a parent, I think is a very important place. Every morning, parents can go down and have a cup of coffee there and sit there for one hour and chat. But once in every month, there is a coffee morning that is hosted by the parents for the parents. It, I think this is a really great way to grow up, just sort of knowing people from all over the world. Yeah, and, it's an important hub for not only the education of your children, it's an important hub for, uh, for your being in that country. It's been a great way to make friends and, and meet new people. Great way to meet people through the melting pot. Yeah. One of the important aspects of ACE is that the learning is not only based on books. Right now there's a big question for group 7, a presentation that's going on in one of the rooms here. If you would like to come with me, I can show you that. Come on. Scientists have many theories on how language came to be. We all talk without really having any thought of it, right? Since people wanted to prove the truth about language, they needed clues and opinions, as well as facts. 
Well, it is their first big presentation at age 10 and 11, and so they are a bit nervous of that, although you can see their excitement is there, and they're very interested in their research, and so they have put a lot of time and, and uh, yeah, really energy into it, so they're quite excited to show it off. Hi, welcome to the ACE. I'm Lindsay Gregory, one of the ACE Primary School Leaders for Learning. I'd like to share with you some of the most important parts of our school, which would be our students and our teachers, so follow me. So here we are in Group 1 Butterflies. The students are currently busy working on a variety of different math centers. Up here at the board, we've got students working on a sequencing and ordering activity. Here at the table behind us, students are using manipulatives to look at how many more and how many less. So 10 is 9 more than? One. Well done. Good boy, Jan. And at the back, students are also working on how many more and how many less through a bowling activity. They knock over different numbers of water bottles and have to count how many are left standing. One of the other things that we'd like to share about our school is some of the writing activities that we do. Here we are in Group 1 Dragonflies. The students have just completed an interactive writing activity together on the board with their teacher here on the easel. And now they're busy writing their own stories at the tables. Let's find out airport. Airport. How many syllables? Let's count. Airport. How many claps did you hear? Three. Let's try that again. Airport. Two. Two. Two syllables. The most important thing about what you just saw was a, a real, true life, hands-on math experience for our students using cooking. So are you doubling, tripling, quadrupling? Have you got all your ingredients ready? I like melting cheese. And I found it. How long does it have to go in the oven for? Eight to ready. Okay. Do you want to go grab a cutting board? Our pizza. Five more minutes. minutes. Guys, you should cut it in fourths and then cut the fourths no, no. into halves. So it's eighths. Oh, yeah. no. Our students were able to explore the concepts of multiplication and grouping. They also looked at cooperation and teamwork. And so we were looking at both the academic and social emotional development of our students in a lesson such as this. And I just find it really fun to teach. <laughs>